Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 15 in chapter 28. Chapter 28 is about source of magnetic field. So there you can see we have two wires, right? At a distance 2.8 millimeter away, we have another wire. We call it I1. So this is I2, I3. And as for these three wires, they are with the current move travels, right? Now we need to find the forces per meter of length. It act on each of other two wires. That means we know the I1 current is given 25 amperes. The current for I2, I3 is also given. And then we need to find the uh, force between the wire I1, I2 and also the force between I1, I3, right? This is the very nerd in this the second point in this chapter. And we can see the forces between the two wires I1, I2 can be right in this way, right? And then you can see corner is given, you need to figure out the R2. And then it also tells you R2 is uh, around 2.8 millimeters. So you write it there. Now we look at the force F3. That is a force between I1 and I3, right? So similarly, you, you can write it. So this one, I is larger. So this uh, we can write it the force between two wires are there, right? And then you can see the distance between wire three with the wire one. You can see is uh, this is uh, it tell us two point eight millimeter plus this second part two point eight millimeter. So this is uh, twice two point eight millimeter is a five point five point six millimeter. So we write it there, right? Now we can see this length is a wire length for. Um, I2 and I3, but they ask you force per meter of length. So this we can just divide the L at both sides. So F2 over L, we get the term look like this one. Input all the given quantities, you get answer there. Similarly, F3 divided by L, you get it is this term, right? And input is the given quantities, I1, I3, R3, you get answer there. Thank you.